Welcome back, Ponzi Coders. All right, when we were last looking at the app, um, we got some of the things working, but we really need to work on some field validation um, as well as uh, trying to make the user experience a little bit a little bit better. Um, for one, if you put in a um, if you just don't put in a symbol and click get quote uh, the app crashes so we need to uh, we need to check and see if uh, the symbol fields actually filled in another thing is when we put in my, but you are a, stock market guru. a symbol um, it's difficult you know I've got a backspace over uh, the last symbol in order to uh, put in a new symbol and we want to make that easier for the user also uh, this keyboard should go away um, when we click the get quote button so that's what we're gonna work on uh, right now so we'll go back into the code and uh, the first thing uh, probably the easiest thing to do is to uh, make sure when we click on get quote when the user clicks on the get quote button um, all of the text in our set symbol uh, field we're gonna clear it so we're gonna say set symbol and use the method set text and we're just gonna have it uh, equal uh, blank so this will uh, and it's not set animation it's set text okay uh, we'll make whatever symbol we have in there um, go away all right the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the keyboard um, when uh, the user presses uh, when the user presses our get quote button and for this uh, you know this is going to be another one of those techniques that uh, you're just going to need to type in I'm not going to go over too much of what this does number one because I've I uh, don't understand all of it, um, but I know it works. So we're going to use this or create this thing uh, using this class called the input method manager. And I'm going to create a reference variable IMM. And then we're going to typecast it as an input method manager kind of I don't know it kind of looks like we do find view by ID but we're going to use an, another method called get system service and we're going to pass a parameter context dot input underscore method underscore service in all caps Okay. Then we're going to use that reference variable IMM, and we're going to use uh, another method hide soft input uh, from window, and make sure you get the right one. There we go. And we're going to pass it the set symbol to get this get window token method and the flags we're just gonna have equal to zero once again just know that this works <laughs> and we'll move on so now we've got uh, when you click get quote the keyboard's gonna go away and um, where you typed in the symbol where the user typed in the symbol is gonna be 
is going to be taken out and blanked as well. But what about testing for um, what about testing whether the user puts something in or doesn't put a symbol in because that's crashing our app. For that we're going to use uh, a pretty simple uh, if statement. So we're going to say if what's contained in our set symbol and you get what's in our set symbol by using the method get text and we want it to look at this as a string and then we want to look at its length so you'll notice we can uh, chain methods together here get text dot to string dot length and we're testing to see if it's equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we want to create what's called a toast and a toast you've seen them in Android uh, all the time they're the little messages uh, that come up um, hints and things and we'll take a look at it in a second so to create a toast we're gonna to say toast make toast we're gonna to use the make toast or excuse me make text method we're gonna pass this context as our class is main dot this the text we want to put in there you can put whatever you want I put in uh, the symbol can't be blank with an exclamation mark and then this duration uh, is the length of time that's going to uh, it's going to appear on the screen I'm going to say the length is long and then the last thing you have to do is put in this show method or it won't show up okay so now we have this if essentially set symbol is blank then tell the user hey it can't be blank and if it isn't blank then else and we're gonna go all the way down to right before the catch and that's where we want to put uh, close off the else and this is not formatted as far as the everything lining up perfectly but anyway so we've got that so now let's go ahead and save that and let's go run it up oh, be nice if I turn the phone on okay so now if I just click get quote we get the symbol can't be blank if I type in a C and press get quote my, but you, are a stock market guru. you can see that the symbol is now ready for a new symbol and we don't have a keyboard now you might be saying that uh, you don't really like the toast position um, I don't like it either and uh, I might make a separate video on how to create your own custom toast uh, and then you can place it pretty much anywhere you want. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'll see you in the next video.